The issue of local content is such an important one in the community that the heads of government actually have mandated a working group on local content to make recommendations regarding, amongst other things, the development and application of local content legislation. Um, in the context of the revised treaty, and I stress in the context of the revised treaty because initiatives like this have to be situated within the context of the obligations that member states have assumed under the treaty and the framework that the treaty may provide for member states to exercise flexibilities. And so what I would say, I don't want to make a definitive pronouncement about how the local content legislation of Guyana is situated within the context of the treaty. The court may, at some point, have to engage on that issue, and I'm sure they will, um, whether it is through its advisory jurisdiction or otherwise, provide guidance. But I just wanted to reiterate that there's also, the issue is more systemically being addressed, not just about Guyana's local content legislation, but this policy tool overall. It's something that's occupying um, the attention of the community because it is clear that there are mechanisms like this that countries feel that they should have at their disposal. And so the issue really is how do you develop and apply measures like these within the context of the revised treaty?